Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, January 22, 2016. This week, how to move shadows to their own layer in Elements. In the last tip, I showed you how to use Photoshop to move a shadow layer style to its own layer. Once the shadow is on a separate layer, you can tweak it to make your page more realistic and more interesting. Nana Scrapper was kind enough to share her technique for separating a shadow in Elements. Here's her workaround for Elements users. Begin by applying a shadow using your favorite method. I like using Simple Drop or another one of Katie Pertit's Drop Shadow Styles. She has a Drop Shadow Layer Styles Collection 1 and a Drop Shadow Layer Styles Collection 2. You can also use one of the layer styles that comes already included with your software. You'll find them under the Layers panel under the Effects button. Choose Styles up here at the right, and then choose from the drop-down menu either Drop Shadows, Show All, or the name of the styles that you have purchased and installed in your software. Select a layer style and click Once to apply it. And then click Layers again at the bottom of the panel to get back to the Layers panel. Now you'll notice that on the layer that you are applying a style to, there's a small Effects button on the right side of the layer. Double click that effects icon to open up the style settings dialog box. At this point, you can drag the distance slider to the right to separate the shadow from the element, or I'll reset, or with this box open, you can just bring your cursor over and drag the style down. As long as the style settings box is open, you're able to drag the style out from under the element that you have it applied to. When the shadow is moved away from the layer, click OK. With the layer still selected, choose Layer, Simplify Layer from the menu bar. Get the Lasso tool and choose a feather of zero down here in the tool options. Draw a lasso around the shadow only, being careful not to include any of the original layer. You'll get marching ants when you get back to where you started with your lasso tool. With the active selection, you'll put the shadow on its own layer by choosing Layer, New, Layer via Cut, or by simply pressing shift Control j on your keyboard. On a Mac system, that's shift Command j on the keyboard. You could also right-click inside of the selection and choose Layer via Cut. Now the shadow will be on its own layer. So we have the original layer here and then the shadow here on its own layer. You can move the shadow back under the original layer and ripple it using filter menu as outlined in the previous tip. Just drag the shadow down underneath the original layer in the layers panel. And then you can use the move tool, so I'll switch to the move tool, and drag the shadow back up under the element where it was to begin with. Now that both Elements and Photoshop users can get shadows on separate layers, we can explore other shadow tricks in the next few tips. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.